Coaching can be a highly effective means to improve management and employee performance, but it can also be very costly. I'll talk about how to have coaching for free in your organization. Hello, I'm Stephen Goldberg of Optimist Performance, bringing you practical tips and ideas on leadership, team development, and employee performance in the workplace. I was just reading an article in the local Les Affaires business publication about coaching and mentoring and the different facets, how it can be used in organizations. And in fact, I had my first coach in the 90s before it was even popular, and I know how effective it can be. And yet organizations, especially small and medium sized companies, hesitate to hire a coach because it can be very costly. But in fact, you don't have to pay to have a coach. And in a lot of my videos, I talk about a style of leadership that is participative. And when you adapt a participative style of leadership in your company, the leaders and managers become coaches. And this is what the younger generation of employees are seeking today. They don't want to be directed, they want to be coached. And coaching is known to be highly effective in terms of helping people improve the use of their own potential to solve problems and to improve performance. So how do you do that? In fact, you train your managers on becoming coaches. And you could also do the same for employees because when teams become more autonomous, they learn how to coach each other. And that's really the key to help people overcome obstacles to performing their tasks and facing new challenges. One of the things you wanna pay attention to is when you're promoting someone to a manager or hiring someone to become a manager is that they have an interest in people. I talk about this in one of my recent videos, the importance of job interest when you're hiring. And you wanna be able to determine how important is it to that person as far as an interest for people. Because a people interest means that they're gonna to want to take time to spend with people, to help them, to coach them, to dialogue with them. When they don't have that people interest, it's harder for them to spend time actually working with people in terms of helping them. And then of course you wanna teach coaching skills to people. And the basis of coaching is really listening. It's having good communication skills, and that begins with listening active listening. I have many videos on that. I'll put links to that in the description of this video or at the end. So learning to listen, learning how to ask questions as well. So because a coach really is there to help people solve their own problems, face their challenges and find the right solutions. I hope this tip makes sense. Check out some of the other related videos on the channel. There's also blog articles that are related to this. Go to the blog section of my website. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk again soon.